Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at both Grok and ChatGPT and comparing both of these AI chatbots to find out which one is better. Now by the end of this video you're going to understand everything you need to know about both these AI chatbots and you'll be able to work out which one is better for you and your needs. So to start with an introduction to Grok. Grok is a new AI chatbot developed by Elon Musk company XAI. It is designed to respond to users text prompts with humour and sarcasm. Grok sets itself apart from conventional AI systems with its unique personality, reminiscent of the humour and sarcasm found in The Hitchhiker's Guide to a Galaxy. Unlike traditional AIs that often steer clear of sensitive topics, Grok tackles them with a witty and humorous approach, all while discouraging illegal activities. Currently in beta, Grok is poised to become a key feature of the premium services offered on Musk's X platform. This bold venture into the AI arena showcases Musk's vision for an AI that not only dispenses information, but also seeks to understand the profound mysteries of the universe. Grok harnesses the real-time information available on the X platform, setting it apart from other AI systems that may rely on older and outdated data sources. So what are the key differences between them? Grok AI and ChatGPT are both advanced AI chatbots, but they have some key differences that might make one more appealing than the other, depending on your specific needs. Start with real-time information. Grok AI has access to real-time data from the X platform. This means it can provide up-to-date information, which could be invaluable if you need the latest data. There's also humour and personality. Grok AI is designed to answer questions with a bit of wit and has a rebellious streak. If you value a chatbot with a sense of humour, Grok might be more appealing. It also handles sensitive topics. Grok AI is designed to tackle sensitive topics with a witty and humorous approach all while discouraging illegal activities. However, it's important to note that Grok AI is still in its early stages and may not yet match the capabilities of more established models like ChatGPT. So what are the advantages of ChatGPT when compared to Grok? Start with data sources. ChatGPT created by OpenAI draws its knowledge from a wide array of sources, including Common Crawl, web content, books, and Wikipedia. This broad base of knowledge allows it to provide comprehensive and diverse responses. Next up, maturity. ChatGBT has been around longer than Grok AI. It was released to the public on November 30th, 2022, giving it more time to learn, adapt, and improve based on user interaction. It's also public accessibility. ChatGBT is freely available to the public, making it more available to a wider range of users. And finally, performance. In some in-house tests conducted by XAI, ChatGPT outperformed Grok AI. For example, when graded against GPT-4 on the 2023 Hungarian National High School Finals in Mathematics, ChatGPT scored 68% while Grok scored 59%. However, it's important to note that both AI systems have their strengths and weaknesses, and the better one largely depends on your specific needs and preferences. So which one's better for you? Both Grok AI and ChatGPT have their unique strengths and are designed to cater to different users' needs. Grok AI stands out with its real-time data access, unique personality, and approach to sensitive topics. It's a great choice if you're looking for a chatbot with a sense of humour and up-to-date information. On the other hand, ChatGPT's strength lies in its broad knowledge base, maturity, public accessibility, and proven performance. If you're looking for a reliable, publicly accessible chatbot with a wide range of knowledge, ChatGPT might be the better choice. In conclusion, the better AI largely depends on your specific needs and preferences. Both are advanced AI systems that continue to evolve and improve over time. So this has been my comparison video between Grok and ChatGPT. Hopefully now that you've watched this video, you'll understand all the key differences between them and you should be able to work out which one is better for you. Now, I also hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please go ahead and comment down below to say this video helped you out and like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.